Hello everybody and welcome to the brand new Ravenport featurette video. So this is the brand new map, or well, one of the brand new maps, which is going to be in Farming Simulator 19. There is also the Felsbrunn map and also the overhauled Estancia Apache map. So really, uh, yeah, essentially this is the American one. Uh, Estancia Apache is South American and Felsbrunn is European. Uh, basically, this video, which you've just seen, is just summarizing the, uh, the map Ravenport and what it's got to offer. So I'm not going to be able to give you a great deal of information here, but please do stay watching because we're going to summarize it anyway and basically just have a quick discussion about what we can see within the video. And you never know, at this speed you might notice something else as well which you didn't notice in the real-time speed trailer. So I'm not going to point out things which are really obvious, like here is a flag and there is a tree, because uh, that is self-explanatory. What we're going to do basically is just explain each scene. Some scenes don't even need to be explained. So first of all, we have a rectangular field of corn, or maize, whatever you want to call it. Um, and you can actually see in the background there, to the far right of the picture, two tractors. Now, I don't know if they're actually working because they don't seem to have their front weights attached and possibly even the cultivators as well, or the seed drill. Uh, but they are down there. I couldn't quite make out what they are, but I thought they might be case tractors. But yep, that is... Uh, that scene, although there is also a bird which you can see flying in the air. Which I think really does bring the map alive. This is a very nice scene for the birds actually. Uh, so we've got a cotton crop just here. These fields which are being shown at the moment are fairly small, but actually, as you will have seen in the trailer and you're about to see in a minute, there are some absolutely huge fields on this map. So you really do get a contrast between the two sizes, or the, the several sizes, which there'll be. Uh, so yep, that's cotton with the birds flying over the top. Very pretty. Here is a perfect shot of some different sized fields. For example, in the uh, far left of the screen, on the far left of the screen, there you can see there's a big field. It looks like it might be wheat or something, unless it is just cultivated land. On the far right, we have got a green field, which looks to be, although it's quite hard to tell from this uh, distance, uh, sunflowers, possibly. I think so. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. We've got some rectangular fields. Um, so that really does show you that there's some rectangular fields and also some more unique shapes as well. We've got a windmill in the middle there. Now this train does feature several times, uh, certainly emphasizing the, uh, the feature of the train in the game. We've got some more cotton over here, pretty big field. And there is a lighthouse over the far side there as well. So there are several landmarks which are shown. Looks like a bit of a scrapyard just there. But it is a very nice setting. I'm not too sure about the bridge though. It looks a bit rickety. I don't know if I want to take a tractor over there. Maybe it's just for pedestrians. So yeah, this is just a, a nice garden by the look of it. It all looks very tropical. And the lighting is fantastic. So this is nice. I like this. Obviously it's nothing to do with farming at all. And, well, they could get away with not even putting this in. But just having these extra areas which you can go to if you want to just explore the map really is nice and actually I can see a man walking over there so that brings it alive as well if there's people about uh, also there is a pier which you can see and over the far side there is the the ship the cargo ship uh, so yeah I don't know if it's the same cargo ship which is moored up on the farming simulator 2009 map that's quite a generic uh, model of a, a cargo ship. Uh, it looks a bit more detailed than that, but yeah, still very nice to have it in the game. We've got the cars. Hopefully they can drive. And this looks to be uh, like a horse arena, the jumps, the, the horse jumps here. Um, yeah, so that looks very nice indeed. Over the bridge. The Foundation Cement Factory. I don't know if this is where you'd buy the lime from. Not too sure. Um, I don't know if it's a sell point, a buy point, or just a landmark. You might not even be able to do anything here. Hang on. Did I just see a gigantic hedge trimmer on the table? Hmm. I suppose it is to scale. If indeed it is a hedge cutter, I'm not too sure. This is a very good shot of the birds. So these are the pests. Uh, but as I was saying in another video... Um, despite these birds being here and what on the face of it would appear to be pests to the crops, I think it's actually a 
positive thing from a gameplay point of view. Probably not from a real life point of view. But from gameplay, it really does add realism to the map, but also it brings life to the map. Uh, it's been criticised a number of times I've read on different videos and forums that all the previous Farming Simulator games feel fairly dead. And by that I mean it is just you, the player, on the map. There's no other life. So it is just you and nobody else. I know there are only birds, and you can't get too attached to a bird. Well, maybe you can, but uh, still, it's it's life, it's nature, and it brings the map alive. There are other things as well that can bring the map alive, but that is a fantastic... Well, not even a start, but that is a fantastic feature to extend that sort of idea. So over here we've got a train going over another bridge just there. We've got two common houses, John Deere's, I believe. Uh, so that is a, a very nice addition to the game. And um, yeah, I'm assuming they're on a worker. They're on swath mode. It has been noticed as well in a previous video that there is chopped straw. So that was very interesting to see. But both of these two are just on swath. We have a train going over a bridge, which we've had. Uh, there's quite a few of those. Uh, definitely emphasising the trains. But this is a nice shot as well, because what it's showing as well underneath the bridge is the water. We've got the lily pads, the, the bulrushes and the, the reeds. But the way the lighting is set up in the, uh, the, the brand new game is just fantastic because you can see the sun reflecting off that water, it's shining right at you and it, again it's part of the the game which is bringing it alive. This is all part of the overhauled graphics which is going to be in it and yeah it's definitely much more realistic lighting than previous versions. So this is a stable, no horses in here at the moment and looks like somebody's set up camp up here it's just obviously a very nice place to sit and take in the sunset. This game appears to have some incredible sunsets. Uh, so why not? <laughs> you might as well do. It looks like this is some kind of uh, sculpture. A bit of artwork. Here is the lighthouse just here. And of course the flag is flying. I think the grass is different though. It's very different to 17. Um, in some shots it's very like a, a dark lush green and I'm guessing it's just the sunlight which makes it look more like a, a more lighter lime green. Whoever designed that or built that is a genius. That is a very nice sandcastle. And oh look, a train going over the bridge. So <laughs> it, it's um, definitely going to be a big feature of the map, the train, as it was in 17 as well. That water also looks very clean and refreshing. That's not a sewage outlet, is it? I don't know. It might be, uh, yeah, water off the hills. This is a, a very pretty view as well. I don't know if I've seen this before. It might have been Felsbrunn. Um, but these, just like these nature walks, which you can see uh, with, throughout the map. So you can just go for a walk if you want to. This is what is nice about, well, actually both of the maps which I've seen. Usually, Farming Simulator's maps, the base maps, are fairly plain and the only reason why I can s see this happening um, is to make it compatible with nearly all system specs to make it easy to run uh, but these two I, I don't know what Estancia Lepache is going to look like but these two Felsbrunn and Ravenport certainly are a lot more detailed than previous base game maps so it's very nice very nice to see that um, I'm guessing the game itself is more optimized for, for lower spec PCs anyway. There's a train. And it's going over the crossing now. I'm guessing it's a loop. Obviously we don't know yet, but usually it would be a loop. We also have the corn crop, or the maize crop, growing nicely there. Lots of trees in the background. They've still got these um, hills which all look out of focus, but it's, uh, it's the depth of field. That's what's doing that. Very nice waterfall just there. Kind of reminds me of Skyrim. And I'm not too sure. We've got a tractor there. In fact, that's probably the same tractor. I'm fairly sure it's a case. I think it is. In fact, that might be the same place. Looking down from the top right we were on before. We were on the hill looking down to here. Not necessarily. It's just I get the feeling that it is the same place with the same tractor just parked there. 
And from here, what do we have? Let's just see. We've got a car going over a bridge, obviously. Really just taking a look at everything generally there. Now this, I believe, is actually taken from the pier, looking back towards the land. Uh, so it's just another place to come and relax if you want to. If you want to take a break from farming, then come to the pier. It could also be a nice break from multiplayer. If it's all very hectic, then just come away for a few minutes and take in the sea air. There's the cow. I think that must be the livestock market, I'm assuming. There is the pier again with the cargo ship in the background and the train line. I think that's the pier again from another angle. Yes, it is. So, it's very detailed. I do like it. I don't know about pedestrians at this stage. There is a chap just down there, I think, and there is a woman just there. I'm not sure if there's going to be any people on the pier. It would be amazing if there is, because it would just bring it alive even more. But at least there are some people walking about, and uh, yeah, it's it's good. This is looking good. I just, I just really do uh, worry about the AI traffic, uh, because... Uh, they're not the best of drivers, and I really do hope that's been improved for the new game. Here is AI traffic. Looks we're doing a fairly standard speed there. Not too sure if it's going to be dynamic speed. Pedestrians, that is such a fantastic view though. Really nice, looking down on the pier. And this is just such an idyllic view. Just away from everything. We've got the, uh, the Coast Guard hut just there. Is that a shipwreck on the rock? Might be. Got another ship out there and uh, a boy bobbing in the sea. Yeah, that is idyllic. So it's going dark. Well, it's going dusk, really. You can see the sun setting. Different colours on the, on the clouds. Now it's going really dark. The Literate Coffee Shop. So that looks like the main street. And that is the end of this trailer, or the featurette. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. Like I say, please do feel free to comment down below if you've seen anything which I've missed. And if there's something significant, we can definitely cover it in a future video. But as for now, I think that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.